League One season is rapidly coming to its conclusion and whilst we're on an international break I thought it would be fun to do some predictions for what's going to happen for the remaining seven, eight, nine games that are left in the season. I've used the most powerful supercomputer in the world to do these predictions to see how it all ends up so we will go through all of it and if it doesn't go your way remember don't blame me it's all the result of the supercomputer. If you go up, supercomputer. If you go down, supercomputer. Get into playoffs, supercomputer. Now, does this supercomputer have a little bit of a bias towards Oxford United? Probably. So we're going to do predictions for every single game that is left and show you a league table after every round of games. You can jump right to the end if you wish. And feel please feel free to do so uh, if you want to avoid my waffle. Uh, you can use the timestamps down below and just jump right to the end. But if you do that, the very least you can do is leave a like on this video because it is just for fun and it is just a bit of a laugh. And that will help me out a lot. And if you do like the content, then also consider subscribing. So let's just have a quick look at where we we are right now in Sky Bet League One uh, with some teams having most teams having seven games some eight some nine left of the season you can got Portsmouth leading the way like they've done for weeks and weeks and weeks at the top with Derby and Bolton stumbling and failing to try and track them down but don't rule out Peterborough and Barnsley for those auto places either it looks like a straight shootout between four or five clubs for that last playoff spot between my beloved Oxford United who hold that place at the moment but Stevenage, Lincoln, Blackpool and Leighton Orient still have a shot. Down the bottom it is tight as well. Carlisle do look like they are doomed. I don't think even they think they're going to get out of this one but there's still much to play for with a lot of those clubs down there and you'd even say even maybe Exeter might be looking over their shoulder in 15th place. But that's where we are now but let's delve into the future and let's start with Good Friday. So the supercomputer starts with Derby fumbling and stumbling and it's a good away point for Blackpool. X to two, Charlton two, big home win for Barnsley against struggling Cambridge 3-0 there. Reading two, Northampton Town one, a big game for promotion hopefuls there at Stevenage. It ends 1-1, Bolton might be slightly disappointed at that but Stevenage are a tricky, is a tricky place to go. Fleetwood Town 1, Cheltenham 0. A huge game at the bottom going the way of the Cod Army. Lincoln flying. Probably look the most likely to get that playoff spot. They get a 2-1 win over probably outsiders for the playoffs. Leighton Orient. That might end the O's chances. Easy win for Peterborough over struggling. Horrible season for Carlisle continues and Peterborough, big win there as they march towards automatic promotion. Port Vale got a big win last time out against Burton. They can't follow it that up according to the supercomputer and that is a 2-0 win for the gas. And it's a 2-0 win for my beloved Hughes away at Shrewsbury backing up what they did against Port Vale last time out. Wigan nil, Burton nil. Uh, Burton solid away point, and my goodness, do they need it. But look at this score down the bottom. That supercomputer's having a meltdown. It is giving Wickham Wanderers a 1 0 win over Portsmouth. That is certainly upsetting the Apple Cup, but that's not as crazy a result as you might think. Wickham in pretty good form at the moment, good at Adams Park, and Adams Park is a tricky place to go. Pompey, normally good at grinding out results, but not on this occasion, and we will see what that does for the table. It does close that gap at the top to just four points, but Derby do have, a, have played a game more over Portsmouth. Bolton. Can't really close the gap too much either, but Peterborough and Barnsley do close that gap as they look to try and get into that automatic promotion picture. Uh, Oxford, kind of as you were in the playoffs, but Oxford strengthened their grip a little bit with a nice win. Two points clear of Lincoln in seventh place. Stevenage could only get a draw. Blackpool only get a draw, so it does mean Oxford have strengthened their hand. Down the bottom, you can see Fleetwood, the big winners down there. They uh, get that big victory at home to Cheltenham, and that puts them... 21st place, hot on the heels of Cambridge and Burton. And you can see everything does seem to get more tight as the games go on. So that's Good Friday. It's time for Easter Monday. So 
The supercomputer has Blackpool with a home win over Wickham Wanderers. Bolton Wanderers getting a nice home win as well over Reading by three goals to one. Bristol Rovers one, Shrewsbury two, big win for Shrewsbury away from home. Burton Albion nil, Barnsley two, that one looks pretty straightforward. Another defeat for Cambridge, a bad defeat as well, 2-1 at home to Wigan. Their season is spiralling out of control. Defeat for Carlisle, that might put them down, you know, that is not probably as Probably expected, though, because Lincoln City continue their fine form. 2-0 win. Charlton 2, Stevenage 1. So bad defeat for Stevenage there. Cheltenham 2, Exeter 2. So decent point maybe for Cheltenham on that one. Leighton Orient 2, P2, Peterborough 1. Big result for the O's. Keeps their promotion chance alive or hurting Peterborough. Northampton 2, Port Vale 0. Oxford won, Fleetwood won, pretty poor result for Oxford United there, really needed to win that one, but Fleetwood, that is a precious point for them, and also that huge game, the hugest game, which is actually going to be played on the Tuesday, is going to end Portsmouth 1, Derby County 1. If you look at the table, it's still Portsmouth with a four-point gap over Derby, so they've just kept Derby at bay with that draw, but Port Pot Bolton have somewhat closed that gap with their win, and you've still got Barnsley hot on the heels, Peterborough suffering a lot, lost but Lincoln jump into that playoff place with their superb goal difference. It's Oxford moving down. Blackpool got a win as well. And uh, Leighton Orient kept their dreams alive. Down the bottom, it was a big win for Shrewsbury Town. Getting onto them onto 47 points as they look to be seemingly safe on that number of points, you would say. Uh, Fleetwood and Cheltenham only getting draws. So not too much change down the bottom of the table. Not a full round of fixtures, because I think you've got the EFL Trophy Final between Peterborough and Wickham. I think we're all hoping for a Peterborough win on that one. Sorry, Wickham fans. But we've got the supercomputer has given us the, the results of these fixtures. And it's got a not surprisingly win for Blackpool at home to Cambridge by two goals to nil. Bolton getting a big win away at Bristol Rovers. Oxford, big win away at Burton Albion. Charlton won, Barnsley won. So Barnsley stumbling there. Steve Stevenage falling apart as it seems as Exeter get a big 2-1 win over Stevenage. Reading with a big win over Lincoln as well as Lincoln's form finally comes to an end. Reading with a 2-1 win in that one. Leighton Orient 2, Cheltenham Town 0. Cheltenham really struggling down the bottom. Northampton 1, Carlisle 1, Portsmouth 1, Shrewsbury Town 0. So Pompey get back to winning ways and Wigan 3, Port Vale 1. So Pompey just strengthen their grip on not only promotion, but the League One title itself. They're six points clear of Bolton, seven points clear of Barnsley, of Derby, sorry, Barnsley. Still hot on the heels of Bolton and Derby and don't rule out Peterborough. Oxford get that playoff place back as the others did stumble around them. They're three points ahead of Lincoln, Blackpool and Leighton. Orient are three points further back from that as Stevenage's form seems to desert them at the wrong time of the season. Big win. Big wins for Exeter, big wins for Reading down the bottom of the table. Other than that, it's as you were, and that is the final nail in the Carlisle coffin, as it seems, as you can see the R next to their name. So these midweek fixtures and the supercomputer has another big home win for Blackpool by two goals to nil. Bristol Rovers 2, Reading 1, Charlton 2, Wigan 1, Leighton Orient 1, Exeter City 2. Cheltenham with a huge win down the bottom of the table by two goals to one. Stevenage, they had a tough run of fixtures as well, home to Barnsley, but they still can't find a win. It is a 1-1 draw. Moving on to Wednesday, Peterborough up against Port Vale is another huge home Home win for the posh four goals to nil and it is Wickham Wanderers nil Derby County one so Derby do close the gap but it does mean they've played the game more but the gap is back to four points Barnsley missed that chance to really close the gap on the top three Peterborough with a big win and also with a game in hand so you certainly can't rule them out and it's Blackpool who have played a game more than the other promotion chasers other than Leighton Orient but they've got themselves in the driving seat in sixth place with 70 points ahead of Oxford on goal difference. That huge win for Cheltenham does move them out of the drop zone on goal difference ahead of Cambridge United who sink in there.
massive game at the top of the table which could change everything. You thought Portsmouth had done and dusted? Think again. It's got Bolton 2, Portsmouth 1. A huge win as well for Cambridge down the bottom of the table. Cambridge 2, Charlton 0. And look at that. That might be the most shocking one of all. Carlisle 1, Blackpool 0. Carlisle with the first win in seemingly ages. Cheltenham, they can't back up that win in midweek and they lose 2-0 to Bristol Rovers. Derby with a big win over Leighton Orient by two goals to nil. Barnsley edge out Reading at Oakwell by two goals to one. Stevenage do get back to winning ways with a 3-0 win over Burton Albion. Reading, Fleetwood, sorry, with a huge win themselves. Some huge victories this weekend and it, um, they get the victory over Northampton Town. Lincoln, Back to winning ways as well with a 2-1 win over Reading. It's disappointment and that really puts Oxford United up against it as they go down 2-0 at home to Peterborough. It Port Vale are another side with a big win. They're getting a 2-1 win over Exeter and it does end 1-1 between Shrewsbury and Wickham. That has tightened things up quite significantly at the top of the table. You've still got Portsmouth top, but only a point clear of Derby. Derby also have played that game more. Bolton only three points behind. Barnsley on 82 points. Peterborough on 80 points and still got a game in hand and two games in hand over Derby. Lincoln jumped back into that playoff position on goal difference over Blackpool. Oh, Oxford go down to eighth. Stevenage into ninth, but don't give up on Stevenage. They've given their promotion aspirations a bit. Big shot in the arm. And don't rule out Leighton Orient either. They're only just got good, a good week could see things go, return back into their favour. But also their goal difference is not helping. It seemed like there were so many big wins down the bottom of the table. you got wins for Port Vale. you got wins for Cheltenham. you got uh, Burton obviously went down to a defeat. A win for Fleetwood. A win for Cambridge. And if anything, that's just made other sides... It hasn't really changed too much, but it's made other sides maybe a bit catchable. Maybe Reading and Shrewsbury aren't necessarily safe, but it does mean it's still Burton, Cheltenham and Port Vale in that bottom three... A lot, uh, four, sorry, along with Carlisle, Cambridge and Fleetwood just above. <laughs> So the midweek games start with another big Bolton win as they look to be marching towards promotion at this point of the season. It is a 3-0 win for the Trotters. Oxford versus Lincoln. Huge game in the race for that final playoff spot, but it is only honours even. Oxford won, Lincoln won. Huge game for Pompey. They needed a win. They do this so often. They get that 2-1 victory at home to Barnsley. Peterborough continue their good form with a huge 3-0 win over Fleetwood. Bristol Rovers 3 came Cambridge 1 and Port Vale get back-to-back -back wins. It's a 2-1 win for the Valiants at home to Wickham Wanderers. And it ends all square at the Pirelli. It's Burton 0, Cheltenham 0. So with two games to go, it is all on a knife edge. You've still got Portsmouth uh, three points ahead of Bolton, four points ahead of Derby County. Peterborough... 83 points, but with that game in hand as well. It's kind of as you were in that battle for the playoffs. Lincoln on 71, Oxford on 71, Blackpool on 70. Still can't rule out Steve Digilate and Orient. Down the bottom, it again hasn't really changed too much. Port Vale bring themselves out of the drop zone. Fleetwood drop back in Burton drop back in and um but it is all so tight down the bottom just like it is at the top there's still so much to play for as we enter into the last fortnight of the season <laughs> So what has the supercomputer got here? It's got Northampton 2, Exeter 1, Blackpool, big home win over Barnsley. And you kind of think that puts Barnsley now for just playoffs and no more hopes for automatic. Blackpool 1, Barnsley 0. But what a job that does for Barnsley, Blackpool's 
playoff aspirations. Port Bolton, another big win for them. 3-0 at home to Port Vale. Bristol Rovers nil. Peterborough 2. Do not give up on this Peterborough side. They are flying. Huge win for Burton at home to Reading 1-0. Derby with a big win themselves away at Cambridge. Carlisle 1. Wickham Wanderers 2. Charlton 3. Shrewsbury Town 1. Cheltenham 1. Lincoln 1. So Cheltenham get a solid point and really damage Lincoln's playoff hopes. Oxford won, Stevenage won, kind of does neither side any good there in that battle for that final playoff spot. And Portsmouth get the win like they usually do. Two goals to one over Wigan. And what that victory does for Pompey is it does secure promotion for them. It means that with one game to go, Portsmouth are going to be promoted. It hasn't given them the title, but it has given John Messino's side means that they will be playing in the championship next season you've still got a, a bit of a, a big shootout between Bolton Derby and Peterborough for that final automatic place Blackpool still hold uh, the top the sixth place over Lincoln Oxford and Stevenage have come out of that picture now with that draw against Oxford. So it is between Blackpool, Lincoln and Oxford United. Are we going to see a spanner in the works on the final day? Well, we will see, won't we? But down the bottom, Port Vale, Fleetwood, Cheltenham are the ones with the noose around their necks. Cheltenham do have a game bid midweek, as do Cambridge, who could really just uh, put their season to bed with a victory in midweek. But still, Burton are in danger as well. <laughs> Two games midweek, and this is what the supercomputer has got, and it has got Cambridge United, who cannot, cannot secure their place in League One as they go down 1-0 at home to Wickham and Cheltenham get a could but what could be a precious point against high-flying Peterborough. Does that mean Peterborough can't get promoted now automatically? That one ends in a 2-2 draw. So it puts everybody on played 45 points and it does mean that Peterborough can still get that automatic place but it does mean that Bolton Bolton need to lose and Derby need to not win and Peterborough need to win to get the business done. So big big, big swing in their favour needs to happen. Big favour needs to happen. Um, down in the playoff spot for Blackpool to mess it up. Blackpool just need to get a win and their job done. Lincoln and Oxford are hoping that they will stumble and they can take advantage of it. Down the bottom, Fleetwood 41, Port Vale 42, Cambridge 42, Cheltenham 42, Burton 44. So that defeat to Cambridge and that draw for Cheltenham has switched things around. But there is still a huge amount to play for as we head to the final day. And Derby County have probably the most favourable fixture of all and they'd make no mistake with it and get an emphatic 5-0 victory and they put Carlisle out of their misery and um, yeah, it's been a miserable season for them and one they will want to forget. But Exeter won Oxford United 2, so Oxford doing the business, that's all they could do. Barnsley 2, Northampton 1, Reading 2, Blackpool 1, so that has opened the door for Oxford United. Stevenage 2, Cheltenham nils. So that could be disastrous for Cheltenham. Fleetwood 1, Burton Albion nils. so the Cod Army getting that massive win on the final day. Lincoln 1, Portsmouth 2, Look how this worked out. It's almost as if the supercomputer was an Oxford United fan. So Portsmouth do get that League One title. Paris Peterborough against Bolton. What a game to end the season. I didn't even realise that was the fixture, but it does go the way of the Trotters. And I think you know what that means, Trotters fans. That is a massive game and a massive victory for you down in Cambridgeshire. Port Vale 2, Cambridge United 1. Oh, it's massive. I can't wait to see what the table looks like. Shrewsbury 1, Leighton Orient 1, Wigan 2, Bristol Rovers 1, and Wickham Wanderers 2, Charlton Athletic 1. Let's see. Let's see what that has done to the table. There it is, folks. And there it is. Portsmouth, 96 points. Bolton, 93 points. Derby, miss out, 92 Peaceborough 87, Barnsley 85, Oxford United. What a surprise! Get that final playoff berth on 75 points ahead of Blackpool, Lincoln, and Stevenage. So it would be 
Derby versus Oxford, Peterborough versus Barnsley. What could possibly go wrong, Oxford fans? Um, and down the bottom, look at that. It is disaster for Cambridge, Cheltenham and Burton as they go down on the final day. Those big wins for Fleetwood and Port Vale keep their head above water. And that is how the League One table finishes. There you go, folks. That is the League One table done and dusted. That is the predictions done and dusted. It was all for fun. It was just a bit of a laugh. Leave your comments down below. No doubt you're going to be annoyed by it, but don't be too annoyed. It is just the, as I say, it's just the results of the supercomputer and, and nothing to do with the, the crazy thoughts of a deluded Oxford United fan. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button and um, we'll see what really happens starting with the game on Good Friday. <laughs>